Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I would like to introduce you to a lovely work by Jonathan Green. It is called Red and White Beach Ball, and it was painted in 2009. Let's take a closer look. When we look at this painting, we see myriad blue dots swirling around a central figure whose lower body is obscured by the swirling blue colors to make it look as if she is up to her waist in water. She wears a blue strapless swimsuit, and there is a white swim cap with long trailing ribbons upon her head. In her hands, she holds a red and white beach ball. An interesting thing about this female figure is that you cannot see her face. Her face is in roughly three-quarter view, and you can barely make out a bit of an eye, and that's about it. This is a common element in Jonathan Green's work. He often does not show faces, and this allows the viewer to enter into the work and imagine themselves as the person in the painting. So this could be you in this wonderful, cool water enjoying a summer's day. Another thing that's really wonderful about his work is he uses bright dabs of saturated color. This is referred to in the art world as pointillism. And he uses that to emulate the sparkling droplets of water. One of the things I really want to point out to you is how he cleverly does this on the female figure's shoulder. When you see the little dots of color on her shoulder, it's as if the beach ball is being reflected in the droplets of water upon her body. I also want to point out how Jonathan Green describes movement within his works. If you look at the waist area of the female figure, you will see the dots swirling around her in a semicircular pattern. This is to emulate the movement of the water as she is walking through it, perhaps to retrieve the beach ball, turn around, and throw it to her friends. Another common way that Green expresses movement is by tr the trailing ribbons that you see on the swimmer's swim cap. He very commonly includes trailing ribbons in his works to show a breeze blowing, the movement of the figure, and it adds a strong element of liveliness to the painting as well. It would be a much different painting if those fun swirling ribbons were not included in this work. Jonathan Green was born and raised in Gardens Corner, South Carolina and is very proud of his Gullah heritage. This work is really a celebration of family, the black community, and his Southern roots. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.